Hey everybody, it's Mike. Hope everybody's doing well. Hey, last week I put a video on the uh, Facebook page about correct pelvic mobility with walking and running. Hope you enjoyed that. I didn't talk about how to get pelvic, uh, correct pelvic mobility when you walk or run. And it turns out that it's really difficult to consciously change how you move. Um, you know, if we've been walking a certain way for our whole lives, essentially, you can't just suddenly say, okay, from now on I'm going to move differently. Okay, because we have muscle memory and muscle memory isn't always good. Okay, muscle memory can cause a bad pattern to continue. So what we have to do is change your muscle memory. To do that, we have to do certain exercises where we wake up the stability muscles of your pelvis so that they happen and they fire automatically. We want automatic stability muscle or core muscle firing to change how we move. Let me give an example of uh, somebody this might benefit. This is not for somebody who has a lot of back pain, who's having trouble walking because of back pain or a lot of sciatica, something like that. This is for a higher, higher level athlete, somebody who can run, uh, who can hike and be very active and has the occasional twinge maybe. Maybe they have some knee pain occasionally, maybe some SI pain or low back pain occasionally. It's not real bad. I have that on my left side and sometimes I'll step on the leg and I'll feel like this little twinge. And the reason is because when, I'm, when my left foot's on the ground, I have a hard time staying stable with my pelvis. My pelvis needs to push down toward the ground when my leg's on the ground, as my other one comes up as I come through when I walk, okay? And if I can't push down and hold that as I come over that leg, if I can't support my body weight by pushing that pelvis down, then what's happening is when I put weight on that leg, it's shearing up instead, and maybe collapsing. Maybe it's not even that obvious, you know, but if I'm putting that foot on, weight on that leg and it's not pushing down, it's shearing up a little bit or collapsing, then step after step after step, I'm beating the heck out of my pelvis and low back. So we need to do a prolonged hold to wake up that pelvis to be able to push down. And what you can do is hold on to something for balance. And you're going to bring your knee up. See, this is your good side. This is your little bit sore side here. Bring your other knee up as high as you can. And you're going to go up on your big toe on the involved leg. And you're going to do a prolonged hold. My left knee straight. I'm on my big toe on the left side. On my toes with the weight that's on the big toe. And my right knee's up as high as I can get it toward my chin, and this will make you shake right away. And your glute will start screaming at you right away. That means you're doing it right, okay? Longest 30 seconds of your life. But this will wake up your stability muscles in your pelvis. So, should not be painful. Okay, after doing that, take a few steps. You should feel lighter. You should feel lighter when you walk. You should feel more fluid, less... Um, less uh, difficult to walk, you know, it should seem like a little flow is a little bit better and should have less pain. If you're not getting a relief with pain with that, then don't do it, okay? <clears throat> but give that a try. Uh, try it before you go run. See how the run goes. Try it when you're done. See how it goes. Let me know. Hope you uh, do well with that. Good luck and take care. Till next time.